NASA's $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope has captured a colossal supernova. A supernova is an explosion of a dying star. So far, the telescope has discovered the stars, galaxies, and many more materials present in the darkness of the universe. But this time, it has gone over the board by accidentally capturing the mysterious phenomenon. The recent discovery has surprised scientists and has opened the gate to the study of a new area of research. We all have heard about the theories regarding supernovas, but hardly a few can actually understand the concept. In Theory of Science, we will explain such complicated theories in the layman's language with the help of exceptional footage directly captured by none other than the James Webb Space Telescope. What are you waiting for? Let's jump into the black hole! Before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just after stepping into the never-ending universe, the James Webb Space Telescope identified a mysterious bright object named SDSS.J1419301.11 plus 52515593. So talented, huh? The shiny object starts to dim within five days. So, here is a catch. A star uses all the nuclear energy present in its core before giving away its life in an explosion which we call a supernova. This discovery is crucial because the telescope was not designed to be able to capture supernovas. This duty is assigned to large-scale survey telescopes that have the ability to look around the vast portions of the sky in short intervals. While Webb Telescope is designed such that it gets into great detail in a very small area of the universe, the in-depth images captured by the Webb Telescope contain hundreds of galaxies. And with each galaxy comes a chance to spot and study supernovas for scientists. Oh, man, this telescope can capture anything and everything with precision. Earlier, the scientists were under the assumption that the detailed information about the smaller area provided by the Webb Telescope would cover up the general information that they gained for a wider area by other telescopes. But this accidental discovery broke that assumption, so now we have more chances to see supernovas in the future. The Webb Telescope will capture more such images, and we will surely see the earliest galaxies that formed in the sky in the first hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. The Big Bang was an event that gave life to the present universe, and the theory proves that this universe is expanding continuously. The red wavelength that we now receive from the distant planets or objects hanging up in the sky above our heads indicates that the universe started from the same point and is now moving away from that initial point. Wait. Does it mean that, like humans, even the planets do not like each other? Anyway, the Webb Telescope might be able to capture the explosion of one of the first generation stars that lit up the universe after the early Dark Ages. Astronomers think these stars had a much simpler chemical composition than those born in later epochs. The stars of the first million years were expected to be formed by hydrogen and helium only as opposed to the star's composition we have today. Apart from the compositional difference, the earlier stars were massive, at least 200 to 300 times the mass of our sun, though their lifetime was a bit shorter, live fast, die young type. In earlier discoveries, these type of explosions were never encountered before. It took billions of stars to form and reach the stage of maturity, but a couple of seconds to fade away in a single explosion. The bright bubble of dust and gas that these stellar deaths generate gets clear after only a few days. Hence, a constant eye has to be kept on them to capture the very moment in the correct place in the, at the right time. The Hubble Space Telescope also observed the SDSS.J1419301.11 plus 5251593 galaxy in 2011. But the supernova was not found back then, so James Webb was lucky enough to photograph this supernova. The Hubble must be crying in the backyard, though. The galaxy in which the supernova was located is about 3 billion light years from our Earth. In addition to this new discovery, the Webb Telescope also released images of a 13.5 billion year old galaxy, the oldest galaxy in the universe currently visible to humans, known as Glass Z13 or GNZ13. The universe came into being 13.8 billion years ago, and the galaxy had formed just after 300 million years after the Big Bang event. Before this discovery, the oldest galaxy title was held by GNZ11, identified by the Hubble Telescope in 2015. This galaxy took birth 400 million years after the universe had formed. The James Webb Telescope uses the near-infrared camera, NearCam, to capture pictures of the GNZ-13 galaxies. While probing the region of the GNZ-13 galaxy, the Webb Telescope also discovers the GNZ-11 galaxy. These studies are important for scientists from the perspective of understanding the observable universe to atmospheric spectra of exoplanets. This vast range includes the study of supernovas as well. Observations of supernovae can shed light on the mechanism of massive stars' death and heavy elements formation. 
Wow, scientists are getting more obsessed with supernovas after this discovery. The Webb Telescope has over 21 foot wide mirrors. Hey, this mirror is different from what we have in our bedrooms. Anyway, the telescope observes the far reaches which astoundingly goes beyond the bounds of our Milky Way galaxy. With this, it is raising the standard for innovations in the field of telescopes with its newly launched set of photos. It has once again won the crown. Ah, not the crown of Queen Elizabeth, but of the best telescopes of the present time. There is no point in raising the question of how far Webb's telescope can go. This is very much clear now that the telescope has the potential to peer millions of light years into the galaxy. That too, in an unprecedented clarity and detail, breaking the foundries of our imagination. So yes, flaunt your updated information before your biggest enemy. Make her slash him feel ignorant.